Okay, once again, standards and specifications for Austin roofing contractors and how to have a watertight underlayment. This one's a little more difficult. This is actually called a B vent. You notice that it's got a big hole around this. Now, most uh, of the roofs that we see, if you were to have a shingle or two blow off above it, you've got an opening that the water is going to come right in. So how do we get a watertight underlayment in a situation like this? First thing we do is we put on the base flashing first. This is one of two base flashings that we're going to be using. We put that base flashing on and then we want to make sure that that base flashing centers that pipe in that hole. Now at this point, we go ahead and we fasten this down. And this can be simply done with nails. It's underneath the shingles. It's going to be hidden away. So you can actually fasten that down on this front side and that's going to hold it in place. Now the next step that you do is you still use an ice and water protection and you go around this base flashing. You can see we left the felt loose so we could go under there like that quite easily. And it goes around just like that. You peel, this, peel and stick off the back, you stick it down, and this is nailed into place so the pipe can't move. The next step is putting the shingles and the second flashing around that. Now that you have this flashing built in, it's a base flashing for the B-Vent, built into the underlayment system, it stays under the shingles. It's not a part of the shingle system, it's a part of the underlayment system. What is a part of the, uh, the shingle system is the next base flashing. It's one that would be just like it. And you notice we've got a pretty nice base flashing. You want to pick these out real well. These actually come out of Canada. It's an outstanding product, one of the best that we found to keep this water tight. It's both crimped and sealed. The back goes on. You don't have to worry about getting it underneath anything. This is part of the shingle system, not part of the underlayment. The other one was the underlayment. So it goes on and then you go right back to putting on shingles like everybody knows how to do it. Put on the shingles right around that and go on up with the shingles. And now you have a roof that is going to be watertight even if you get a major storm and shingles blow away because you put on a watertight underlayment and now a watertight roofing system on top.